Something's not right here. Always need scrap. Can use this. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Good to see you. Where? Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. Yep, that's nice. Hmm, that should work. Uh, yep. See you around. I saw Karen and other teachers trying to block their doors. You need something? Hey, how's it going? Looking for anything in particular? You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Later, Deke. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. How's it going? Just looking for some stuff. When I was out in the ship a few months back, I saw a bunch of freaks. St. John, this is 
Sean Copeland and Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, How's I guess going? we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. How's it going? Gentlemen, if I could just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time we move along. Hey, what's up? What's up? Freak, 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 get down! Up. Freaks! How many you got left? Oh shit, one more. What was that?
Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! that Okay, time to rig you in and let Ricky know. Deacon, how'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deacon. Shot up the gate, took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. I'm taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. So, see you, Deke. Learn my count. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Let me guess, you got a job for me. Yeah, okay, St. John out. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. 
Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Dave, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find him. Deacon, thank you so much. You need something? Just looking for some stuff. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. Bike's looking pretty busted. Open the gate already. Hey, booze man. How's it work? What's it look like? See you around then. Someone's here. Open this the gate. Radio I know him. Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Do they feel pain? Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe... We'd survive when it all finally... Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, 
Give me the map. I'll go get the explosives and Mike, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days? Know, huh? Hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing that black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike and be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to him. You can out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. I might say the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Locked. Fucking news. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something.
Gizzo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flare. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There, wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot, bring them right down to their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. First expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit. We're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way.
here. Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honor. And they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It uh, doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You drop them flare. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. You go left here. Got it. Come here. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm blood out and kept Taurus fed for a week. You have a resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Gotta take a closer look. What do we got? Back on track. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. When 
came out. Wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it! How did the Someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Just guess who put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Look out! I can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! It's got the keys! We gotta catch it! <laughs> God damn it, Skizzo! It's getting away! I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks at him? You were supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need it saving. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. Rose off. Patty said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's rivers. Working. You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first.
What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. After what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak likes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, bike. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on. Find him. All right, uh, split up. We'll surround him. Got it. Watch your back. Yeah, don't you worry about me. We don't mean you no harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. Feel free to like join up with us. Jesus Christ! Hey, got it. Lay it into him. What? What was that? Ah, give it to him. Bike. Someone's here. A bike. What? Sister, thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say. I think that's all the last is. Yeah. yeah. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. 
I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rolled into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for it. She's as soft as and the old Mike man as you trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Jesus, why would Iron Mike ever trust that asshole, let alone make him head of security? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything that we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's, um... Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh, he wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... He... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... 
I it's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. Have it your way, Iron Mike. You always do. Someone's at the gate. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I want to talk about drugs. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb, unreliable, and silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central... America used it to help them control the masses, get the Fed's sticky fingers on a slice of the global pie. And once they figured out how well that shit worked, well, they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us good old American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane load. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it, kept us complacent, kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, did they get profit from our misery. The feds made millions to fund their secret operations, all while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all that is in the past. At least, for my people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey, or two, or three. In the meantime, shut the hell up.